Hi everybody, uh, this is the sixth episode of our series How to create a web application with Databeak. In the first episode, we have developed a simple sales management application in 25 minutes without any coding. In the second, third, fourth and fifth episode, we improved the application using some advanced Databeak features. In this episode, we'll focus on another advanced feature introduced in Databeak 9.1 Monterosso, uh, Row Level Custom Filters. All the previous episodes are recorded using Databeak 8. Starting from this episode, we are going to use Databeak 9, so if you see some differences in the interface, that's the reason. Um, you are probably familiar with record ownership. In Databeak, you can, for example, set that a record can be read or modified only by the user or group who created it. That's the owner. It's very useful in many situations and we used this feature in the first episode. Do you remember? We set for the sales agents, they were in the group the default, the default group, the uh, read permissions for sales table to my, so that each agent could only see the sales he or she registered. And to automatically save the username of the agent on the record, when he or she inserted it, we use the ID user database field type. Okay, I'm logged in as a root at the moment. I can see all the sales. But if I log in as Alfio, one of the sales agents, I can only see my sales. Uh, that worked fine, but sometimes uh, it is not enough. Sometimes, in fact, you want the records to be filtered by some criteria which is not related to the ownership. For example, let's say that instead of showing to each agent the sales they registered, we want to show to each agent the sales related to their geographic area. Uh, can you do that using owner permission? Uh, not easily. Uh, you could create a different user group for each geographic area and use the use ID group for ownership uh, parameter in the configuration file to use the ID of the group instead of the username of the user for the ownership but this is not an optimal solution. If you have many geographic areas, you would have many groups and for each group you have to set the same permissions, which is not a very elegant solution and you will also waste time uh, managing that. Um, with row level custom filters, you can just create a custom filter. Let's see how. First of all, we need some additional information, additional fields in our database, in this case. So I added the field geographic area back to the table sales and to the table database users. So now for each sale we have the geographic area and for each user we also have the geographic area. Now, we only have to tell Databeak that for this table, sales, we need a row-level custom filter. So in customfunctions.php, we write something like this. Uh, we are saying that we define a custom filter for the table sales and that the filter is generated by the custom function Databeak custom filter sales. Then we write such function simply saying to add, if the current user is part of the agent's group, an additional filter, an additional where clause, showing only the sales having as geographic area the same geographic area of the agent. Uh, let's see more in detail this function. First of all, I need some configuration variables uh, which are in the global scope. Uh, user's table name and user's table username field, which contain the user's table name, of course, and the username field of this table. 
Um, and there are a few other variables provided by Databeak in the global scope, which are very useful when you write custom code. Uh, current user, it contains the username of the current logged user. Current uh, ID group, the group ID of the current logged user. Uh, $con, which is a PDO DB connection variable you, you can use to execute queries. And uh, quote. Quote is a variable containing uh, the actual um, quote character that you should use uh, with uh, uh, table and field names, which depends on the DBMS you are using. The function itself must return a filter value, which contains basically in SQL terms a WHERE clause that is added on the top of any WHERE clause already set. For example, a WHERE clause could be set because the user executed a search. We apply the filter only for the agents group, which was the group having ID2. Uh, what we do? We get the geographic area of the current user using a solid query, uh, que um, querying the uh, users table uh, using the username of the user, and finally here we define the filter. Uh, geo uh, area sale equals to escape uh, geo area user. Um, remember to escape uh, the values uh, you use in your queries, um, except the one coming from post, get, or cookie, which Databeak provides uh, already escaped. But I don't want to, to add too many details here. Uh, you can find some uh, information about that in the custom functions file. Uh, okay, if the user is not belonging to the ID group 2, we just add 1 equals 1 as a filter. Since we have to provide a filter anyway, uh, 1 equals 1 is just something that is always true, so it doesn't have any impact, which is basically what we want. And here is the result. I'm logged in as root, so I see the sales for all the geographic areas. Let's see our users. Let's take Alfio. His geographic area is Europe. So let's log in with Alfio. I can only see sales for Europe. Um, so this example was not super complex, but it requires some logic. But role level custom filter uh, are very, very flexible. You can have, a, you can have a, a very simple rules. For example, something like this. Uh, here, for all the users, we just show the sales register during the current year. This is something you could implement e even using a view. So you can use uh, row custom, um, row level custom filters even as an alternative to views. But since it's a normal PHP function, you can do complex filters based on very complex criteria or parameters, not necessarily related to the characteristics of the user log. You could also take some values from an online service, for example. There are many cases where you are going to, uh, to use this feature. Uh, I give you some more use cases. Let's take a help desk application, for example. Let's say the help requests are registered by some managers and uh, each help request is then assigned by a manager to a member of the IT staff. Maybe you want to filter the requests so that each member of the IT staff can only see the requests assigned to them. Uh, you can probably do this with four or five lines of code with this feature. Another example, uh, an application for physiotherapy practice. Each therapist can only view data records belonging to their patients. Um, a multi-school application. Each principal can only view data for students belonging to their school. Uh, 
Or again, maybe you could show a different subset of the records according to the age range of the user, and so on. Uh, in general, every time you want to filter your data, your rows, according to some criteria, you can use row-level custom filters. Most of the time, the rule will be related to some characteristics of the user currently logged in. But as we said, it can be something different as well. Uh, it's important to highlight again that the row level custom filter is added on the top of any other filter. So of course you can still use the standard permissions to say uh, this group can read this table and not this one. Uh, you can still use uh, owner permissions. Uh, um, users can filter rows by themselves uh, using a search and so on and so forth. What you define with row level custom filters is an additional filter, an additional condition that must be verified in order for the record to be readable. Okay, that's it. If you have any question, you can add a comment to this video and uh, see you next time. Ciao!